Welcome everybody from Las Vegas reInvent 2023. Uh, if you're not too familiar, reInvent is our learning conference where cloud enthusiasts from all around the world get together to talk about the latest innovations and the new exciting projects that everyone's got going on. In this video, we're gonna go over some of the security related announcements and what's gonna be most impactful for your business and the security of your business. We're also gonna hear from some security leaders and get their insights into what they think is the most impactful security launches from reInvent. reInvent with 65,000 attendees. We're here to learn about the latest enhancements we've made to detection and response services, like guard duty, runtime monitoring, security hub, centralized configuration, and inspector, lambda code remediation with generative AI. That's right, so starting off with detection and response and Amazon Guard Duty. Um, at reInvent 2023, we announced that Amazon Guard Duty now supports runtime security monitoring for Amazon ECS, including workloads running on AWS Fargate. This gives security teams better visibility into their on-host operating system level behavior um, with that container level context um, into their potential threats to their Amazon ECS workloads. And GuardDuty also uh, announced support for runtime monitoring for Amazon EC2, which is available in preview. Very cool. Uh, how about the Security Hub service? I, I know there was a few different launches there. Yep, Security Hub also had quite a few things going on. Um, new features that streamline and simplify how security teams can set up and administer their security configurations in Security Hub. So with central configuration, delegated admins can now essentially enable, configure, and view their desired security settings across accounts, their OUs, and regions. Um, they can also now customize Security Hub control parameters to better suit the specific needs for their organization. And Security Hub findings now come with enriched metadata. So it helps teams fine tune uh, their findings with this added context to help them just how they work with automation rules and how they use the filtering and widgets in the Security Hub dashboard, which has also received um, some updates. There's uh, new AWS managed widgets um, and the option, the option to customize widgets uh, to view um, widgets and views to highlight specific applications, accounts, resource tags, and much more. I know everyone's going to be excited about the control parameters and being able to customize those controls. That's something I've certainly heard a lot about. Um, going into a couple more services and detection and response, starting with uh, Inspector, uh, announced a few different new features, one being an integration with different CI CD tools out there, such as Jenkins that gives a plug-in to assess vulnerabilities directly in those builder tools. Uh, and then you also have the ability now to scan EC2 instances that you might not be able to install an SSM agent on. So you can do this agentless scanning of EC2 instances. And then lastly, Inspector came out with code remediations powered by generative AI for Lambda functions. So it can essentially look at Lambda code that has vulnerabilities in it and not only tell you about the vulnerability, but give you the recommended code to fix that vulnerability. So really cool stuff from the inspector team there. And then next, going into Amazon Detective uh, launched four different things. First being the ingestion of those guard duty ECS runtime findings that you, you talked about. The next being uh, a security lake integration. So if you're familiar with Detective, you can look at and investigate different guard duty findings, but you might want to look at the actual logs associated with that. And now you can do that with the, the security lake in integration. Two other feature launches from Detective was investigations for identity and access management, users, roles, and sessions. This gives you the ability to look at a role over a given time and Detective can look for any tactics, techniques, and procedures or TTPs associated with that role and, and give you some information around anything that could have been uh, related to any security issues that, uh, that you might be having. And then finally, uh, back on the generative AI theme, uh, Detective has a new feature for finding group summaries. So finding groups groups uh, a lot of different guard duty findings and different entity related information together. And then uh, now with this generative AI technology into Detective, it gives you a summary of all of your different entities and findings and information and, and really 
boils that down into something very consumable and easy for people to get started with. Yep, that's right. What about with um, the identity space? What new announcements um, do we have there? Yeah, so a few different announcements in the identity and access management space. The, the first two were associated with IAM Access Analyzer, one being custom policy checks and the next being unused access. So if you're familiar with Access Analyzer, it essentially gave people the ability to look at access given outside of an organization. But now with these two new features, we can look for access that hasn't been used in a certain amount of time or... Uh, we can use the custom policy checks to analyze different policies that are getting created and what new access is being given at, at this time. So the next two, the first one being in I am Identity Center Trusted Identity Propagation. So this is uh, a, a new I am Identity Center capability based on the OAuth 2.0 standard, um, where you can essentially manage users and group access to things like Redshift or other data warehouses through trusted identity propagation. Finally, if you're familiar with IAM roles for service accounts in EKS, this new IAM feature gives the ability to add role session tags uh, to be able to create fine-grained fine permissions policies based on attributes such as cluster name. So that's really it from the identity space. Celeste, can you give me a little bit from the data protection space? Yeah, let's hear some more from uh, the show floor. Hey everyone, uh, my name is Rohit Panjala. I'm the Worldwide Security Go-To-Market Specialist at AWS. Um, I'm recording live from AWS reInvent that's happening here in Las Vegas. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about a new feature that we just launched here at reInvent for AWS Secrets Manager. Um, Secrets Manager allows you to centrally uh, store, rotate, and retrieve your secrets. And we just launched a new feature that allows you to um, uh, get multiple secrets, up to 20 secrets, with one API call for your application. Uh, and so now you don't have to make iterative calls to uh, AWS Secrets Manager uh, to retrieve multiple secrets you know, for your application. So Marshall, is there anything new um, in the network and application protection space? Yeah, absolutely. A, a, a few really cool launches. So the, the first one being a TLS inspection for egress traffic for the AWS Network Firewall service. A lot of customers use Network Firewall for egress protection or east-west protection use cases in their environment. So getting this visibility at a deeper level into that outbound traffic is really going to help customers become more secure in this space. Next in the network and application protection space is uh, around WAF and it's two different launches about uh, visibility uh, of different WAF insights, right? So the first one being an observability dashboard in the WAF console itself that gives people more visibility into the actions that are happening with their WAF rules and different traffic patterns in their environment. And then the next is a really exciting launch for a unified security dashboard in Amazon CloudFront that gives application owners, developers, the ability to gather insights about different WAF traffic patterns and, and what's happening from a security spec perspective from the CloudFront console and getting that developer's eyes on security. That's great. Let's hear some more from uh, the show floor. Hello everyone, Moon Hussain, Security Specialist for Network and Application Security. Just wrapped up five days here at reInvent. I started off with a number of different EBCs across 20 different customers and five partners. Uh, we were able to highlight some of our new offerings, for example, TLS egress for network firewall, coordinated bots for WAF, as well as the new CloudFront dashboard that visualizes some of the WAF inputs. There was a diverse set of requirements uh, that encompass things like um, how do I uh, perform security in my air gap network. Um, there was some anticipation of the types of threats that they would visualize based on AI implementations. So they talked about how we can protect at the application level 
but what, what, what do we need to do better to also look at the other two levels? In addition to that, we had an on-stage kind of uh, breakout session where I was joined by Michael Lighty and a customer, in this case DBS Bank, and we talked about how we could take different AWS security solutions and have them work in tandem with a better together solution where we could correlate and also perform uh, automated remediation actions using step functions in Lambda. We're very excited to launch the AWS Cyber Insurance Partner Competency at reInvent. What this competency does is it partners with some of the major insurance companies in the world and allows our AWS customers to request and receive a cyber insurance quote within two business days. Our customers voice concerns about the long attestation process that was difficult and oftentimes a barrier to obtaining cyber insurance. With this program, customers can download their CSV security posture information from Security Hub and send it direct to the cyber insurers, obtaining a quote within those two business days. I'll lead the team of our worldwide security specialists and I'll give you three takeaways to remember from reInvent 2023 as it relates to improvements in AWS security services. First and foremost, we continue to make security simpler and easier for our customers by introducing new features, leveraging artificial intelligence and machine learning and gen generative AI in our security tools. Secondly, we continue to enhance the experience for our customers by helping them scale our services across multiple accounts, multiple orgs, as well as organization units. And then finally, we continue to scale the scope our services by adding additional workloads with both Guard Duty and Inspector, adding new threat detection and vulnerability management capabilities for runtime monitoring of container as well as EC2 workloads, and with Inspector providing new agentless scanning for EC2 and and Lambda function code scanning as well. Hi, I'm Clark Rogers, Director of Enterprise Strategy here at AWS, live at reInvent 2023. I'm so excited to see what customers are going to do with our latest security updates to Amazon Inspector, Amazon Detective, lever leveraging generative AI to make security professionals that much more efficient. Hey folks, my name is Sophia Luma, and I'm a Network and Application Protection Security Specialist at AWS. We just wrapped up an awesome few days here at reInvent 2023 uh, in the Network and Application Security space, uh, including an, a number of workshops like an awesome game day uh, where we folks got into a team-based environment and got to compete uh, against who was better uh, able to protect their environment uh, against malicious exploits. Uh, we also ran an awesome workshop with VPC egress controls with network firewall and DNS firewall, and also got a chance to sit down with some of our top customers and really hear what was top of mind to them in our network and application security space. For more details on all of the security announcements that we covered at reInvent 2023, check the description area of this video. you also find a link to a YouTube playlist that has demo videos for all the new service launches in the security space.